The city of Portland is in the midst of a housing crisis, and now it's running out of places to house asylum seekers. Tonight, city leaders met to talk about the options, but as News Center Rain's Sean Stackhouse reports, the pressure is mounting. Maine's largest city overwhelmed. This is more individuals and families than we've seen. We, we saw just a few years ago when we opened the the Portland Expo building. Right now, Portland is housing 478 asylum seekers at the city's family shelter and local hotels. In 2019, the city supported around 450 at the Expo, but city staff say that's not possible due to the pandemic, and they're running out of space. We're doing everything humanly possible to provide housing through uh, our general assistance program um, in the local hotels, but I have to tell you, that we're pretty maxed out on local hotels. According to this memo from Portland's Director of Social Services, last week those hotels reached capacity, and so has the family shelter. Victoria Morales, a state representative from South Portland and executive director of the nonprofit Quality Housing Coalition, works to try and find homes for those new Mainers. We are seeing a lot of folks come here because they have connections to Maine, because we are a welcoming place, and we should be because we want to have families and children to come and make their homes here in Maine. Morales says the state is short 20,000 housing units, making it even harder to find homes for those that seek asylum here. Action is needed. Um, we need to create more housing units, permanent and temporary. City Manager Jennings says one proposal for American Rescue Plan funds is to invest $1 million each of the next two years into a housing trust. But a solution won't be immediate, and Portland can't do it alone. Um, we're doing everything humanly possible that we can do. It's just we need others to step up. On Tuesday, city leaders met to try and break down the crisis. City staff say they're stretched thin. City councilors are now calling on Mayor Kate Snyder to convene with leaders in neighboring cities and towns to help. This is still an issue that is much bigger than the city of Portland, and we need all of those communities to dive back in with us here. During Tuesday's committee meeting, city staff expressed concern not only for being able to find housing for asylum seekers, but also finding enough volunteers and staff to be able to support them. Portland DHS Commissioner Kristen Dow says she is genuinely concerned about the current staff capacity. In Portland, Sean Stackhouse, News Center, Maine.